In this Transworld Sports 20th anniversary year, we begin a series this week which looks back at some of the talented youngsters to have been profiled on this show long before they became sporting superstars. We start with golf sensation Tiger Woods. Transworld Sport first crossed paths with the American when he was just 14 years old. It was November 1990 when we traveled to Cyprus, a small town 35 miles southeast of Los Angeles, to meet him. Even back then, there was a huge sense of excitement surrounding the precociously talented Woods. The teenager was known to many in US golfing circles. Having been touted for greatness ever since, as a two-year-old, he'd putted against comedian Bob Hope on live television. At 14, he was already a scratch player and had won five Junior World Championship titles, and he knew exactly what it was that set him apart from his rivals. Mm, my competitiveness. Uh, that sort of, sort of brings me through in the clutch. Um, when you have to uh, make a putt, you make a putt. You have to hit the shot, you hit the shot. You just sort of like drop into another zone and uh, you block out everything. That's really helped me. It was Tiger's late father, Earl, who got him involved in the sport. At this stage in his development, the five foot nine inch youngster could already drive over 300 yards. Yet it was his short game that caught our eye. Jack Nicholas was taught golf from the tee to the green. I didn't believe in that. I taught Tiger golf from the green back to the tee. So Tiger's short game is in place right now. And it is as good, if not better, than most of the touring players right now. This view was reaffirmed by Dave Smith, who was the resident professional at the club where Tiger practiced. I'd have to say that Tiger's potential is unlimited. He um, is an extraordinary young man with truly extraordinary ability. Uh, over the last four years, I've seen him grow taller, stronger, and hit the ball just as straight as he did when he was younger. So there, there's no falls in his game. There's um, no shot that he doesn't have the ability to, to execute well. And I see his potential as unlimited. Tiger honed his technique back then at the Navy Golf Club in Cyprus. His father was a retired Army Lieutenant Colonel, and so they had access to the facility. However, Woods told us that from an early age, because of the color of his skin, he had to face the ignorance of some members at certain clubs. Not every day, but uh, every time I go to a major country club, I always feel it, I can always sense it. Um, people are always staring at you. What are you doing here? You shouldn't be here. Um, when I go to Texas or Florida, you always feel it because uh, they're saying, why are you here? I'm not supposed to be here. And uh, that's probably because that's where all the slavery was. So, uh, oh well. The Woods family home was a short drive from their local course. At this time, golf wasn't allowed to dominate Tiger's life. His African-American father and Thai mother were keen for him to succeed at school. And during term time, golf was restricted to the weekends. As well as having the game well beyond his years, we also found that Tiger had the maturity to match. He knew how important a good education was, and back then, he was planning to do a degree in business studies. The 14-year-old that we met was also aware of the impact a non-white golfer could have on a sport traditionally dominated by white players. Since I'm black, it might be even bigger than Jack Nicklaus. I might be even bigger than him, to the blacks. Um, I may be a, sort of like a Michael Jordan in basketball, or something like that. The world is ready. It is absolutely ready for a non-white golfer to be successful. Uh, the next booming area in the world for golf is Asia. Tiger is already Asian. 
He is Thai. Uh, in the United States, Tiger is black. So when he wins in the United States, he'll be the first black golfer to win. When he wins a major in, in Asia, he'll be the first Asian to win, you see? So he can't lose unless he doesn't win. And I don't anticipate him not winning. At 14 years of age, Tiger's phenomenal talent, dedication, and will to win was obvious. The Tiger Woods we met was a likable young man with an acute sense of his own destiny. 